Excuse the crackly noise, but we are again here at the a new uh, another episode of just ASMR reading and stuff. Hello again, my name is Development, aka Agatu slash Emision, and previously on an alternative, we just had um just completed some other uh, uh some other episodic things, and of course played some things on my main stream, which is of course this one. Um. Yeah, talked about a lot of things, and of course, we've encountered Second King Arthur and Ingram again, which I've actually hold a grudge this time. <laughs> must be quite a must be quite a hunch here in this case, but anyway, let's um, let's uh, true pick first. Um, let's see. I think. Sample peak is configured here, so we're gonna true peak for the time being. Okay, here we go. Here goes the true peak I was talking about. That is good. Anyway, uh, we're back. Again, we are back. Um, and today we're gonna be continuing the AS reading thing with again, after the villainous failed to overthrow the gods by, um, Christ. They just do that. Let's see if I can. Okay, no. I feel like I can't. Okay, good. All right, here we go. All right, so we're now in chapter twenty-three um, out of twenty-eight. So let's see if we can have an author's note here. <laughs> okay, finally we're up again. So, um, again, um, uh, chapter twenty-three, author, chapter twenty-three's author's note is basically just slowly all over again. So, <laughs> let's begin chapter twenty-three. It's already. Um, 9.55 p.m. here. Time to get yourself sucked in. Let's go. I received a scolding from the god of all as soon as I opened my eyes. I was expecting the god of like giving long and torturous lectures. I just turned out this lecture just like many times before in these three thousand years. Shouldn't you praise me instead? I asked as I twirled my hair with my finger. You solved your problem. You didn't solve the problem. It just delayed it, he stated. I shrugged. At least it's not going to be your problem for a few hundred years. Rachel is definitely going to carry out the catch me if you can plan. The God of Order looked at me with a frown on his face, clearly not understanding what I was suggesting. Rachel is definitely the kind to run away and hide from the God of Light because she believes she does not deserve the love of Lucy and once she realized she's the one killing him off in the past. I scoffed. I wonder how long their hiding secret last. I chuckled. You not only didn't solve the, solve the problem but further injured yourself in the process. Is it worth it? Of course! I giggled happily. Nothing makes me happier than seeing that lucky god that 
God's blessed speech shall suffer. The court of order looked at me with judgment in his eyes. Finally, he turned around and picked up a glass from the bedside table. Deep silver liquid sloshed inside a glass. He handed me the glass in silence. I'm not going to take that. Which is a look at what's inside the glass. I rolled over in my bed and stuck my back to him. I got drunk. And my soul was deeply injured after my escape last time. It looked quite pretty. But it has the worst taste ever. You have to drink it. Said. He said calmly. I ignored him. He sighed and called again. Lorelei, I refused. In the end, the call of order said, I would bring you out again if you drink it. I turned to face him again and raised my eyebrow in surprise. I clambered up and placed my hand on his forehead and said, Are you ill? That's when I realized I could not move. I was frozen by a smell. I could not even blink. He then placed his fingers around my chin. Unable to do anything to stop him, I saw him put the portion into my mouth. Once I had to Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. He then placed his fingers around my chin. Unable to do anything to stop him, I saw him pour the potion into my mouth. Once I had drank every single drop of it, I was able to move again. I screamed in anger. I gagged the bitter and tangy taste when the potion filled my mouth. Ew! Just that you become more and more ungermanly lately. So, you fed me a macaroon. Just following your guide, as long as the problem is solved. I jumped on the macaroon and glared at him. This was so unlike him. When did he start to change? From the time I escaped? When he directly pushed my soul into my body without persuading me with long lectures. Did I finally anger him? Because I escaped? Was... Was he angry? Uh, are you... I stopped abruptly. What was I doing? I shouldn't care if he was angry or not. If he was, then I had a die succeeding and annoying him. He said you'd bring me out if I drank that stupid potion. The God of Order won't lie, right? I smiled daringly at him. I don't... I don't lie. He said clearly. But are you sure you can handle the trip now? He raised his eyebrows. He released his hole on my shoulder. I had not realized was there till now. As soon as he... As soon as his hand left my shoulder. All energy left me and I fell back. Before I flopped onto my bed uncontrollably, the God of Order pulled me back up. I can bring you out now, the God of Order said calmly. I didn't realize I had been relying on him for energy to sustain even the basic activities like sitting up. He had been silently supporting my one out soul with his own power. Post my lips and look away from him. I'm just reminding you to uphold your promise. I'm looking after your reputation. I just wound a non existent crease on his shirt. We don't want bad rumors to spread, do we? No, 
one dares to spread rumors of me except you, Lorelei, he said softly. Aren't you tired? The short conversation just now had already exhausted me. I knew it, but he insisted on putting up a strong front. I refused to answer him, but he man my head had already leaned onto his shoulder. I felt his hand on my hair, gently stroke it as if putting me to sleep. Darling, it's not worth it, harming yourself in the process to achieve your goals. Remember that. When he opened my eyes, the top of a four post to bed greeted me. This was not my room. I looked around to try and understand my current situation. It's a huge and well furnished room. The ceiling was painted in deep shades of blue, while the walls and the light is shared. The quilted pillows around me were also in different shades of blue. A gentle breeze entered the room with my huge windows on my left, bringing in with a salty scent. The sea? I was close to the sea. The realization dawned on me. I tried to climb up the bed. I want to take a look at the sea. My family once lived close to the sea. Before everything that had happened. Before the gods and the mortals invaded our lands. The scent in the air reminded me of home. It reminded me of my long lost childhood and family. They imprisoned me in the lake because the forbidden woods was on the other side of the continent, far away from my hometown. The only body of water in the woods was the lake. But in my excitement, I forgot I no longer had legs and was no longer in my lake. I nearly fell out of bed when the god of water caught me just in time. Are you this happy? He asked. <laughs> of course, I said without thinking. I caught myself from further expressing my excitement. After a pause, my usual smile was plastered on my face again. You're not here. It's my chance to escape. Of course. He answered nonchalantly as if he did not believe me one bit. He carried me to the balcony. What entered my eyes was something I thought I would never in my life be able to see again. This was my hometown. <laughs> well, maybe just probably the author's note is uh, probably Lorelei's thoughts. <laughs> A sudden turn of events now for chapter 24. Five, six, seven, eight. If we complete that, we only have four left, and we're gonna be reserving that for the final episodes. Uh, for the final episode, which will be airing on VStream next next week, will be that will be third, will be Wednesday. As I schedule it on 20s. Okay, so it is Wednesday. Okay, so final episode again will be, uh, uh, uh just a little heads up. Final episode will be episode 10 of this particular episode of this particular well for this particular live series and with episode 10 being the conclusion to that will be the real the launch of at aga asm of hashtag aga asmr which i uh, will provide an asmr asmr reading of this again but in a class and fashion and many other stories on my youtube so if you want to check it out um i'll bring in i'll link in the I'll link it uh, in here in the chat later on. So, chapter twenty-four. Let's go. I am happy. The Lord of Order asked once again. Is is this? I lost my voice. I wanted to cry, but I would not allow that to happen. This was once your hometown. I turned my eyes from the sea and took in the town surrounding it. The buildings, the roads. Not one thing was similar to the town in my memory, except the dazzling sea. 
the words the god of water said sank in. This was once my hometown. He had said before that the town I lived in had been destroyed, I had nothing to return to. My hometown had been destroyed by the gods, invaded by the mortals. A new town had been built on the ruins of our land. A new town for mortals. Shuttles bubbled up from my throat. Of course I'm happy, it's the sea. My usual smile was back up to my face. All thought of imprisoning a mermaid in a lake. I held my eyes. You are not a mermaid. That's right. I'm a beast. I muttered softly. I poked at the god that was carrying me. Why? What a lovely gift for your well-behaved pet. It'll be even better if you allow me to swim in it. He tapped his finger on my forehead as punishment. As if I had said something wrong. He carried me back into the room. As a wheelchair was waiting for me. He placed me onto that. What is if you're not afraid I'll escape, of course. I whispered into his ear as he lowered me onto the chair. He eyed me with his disguised grayish eyes. Up to the tearing smile I cut my hair absent mindedly. You won't escape. Because you're going to place a spell on me like leashing a dog. Because I trust you. I opened my mouth and then bit back the sarcastic meat or the hand at my tongue. I shied away at his from his piercing gaze. He trusted I would not escape. He was right. I wouldn't escape. What was the point? All my family members are dead. My only friend betrayed me. Even my own town was beyond recognizable. He was right. Nothing was waiting for me. Sometimes, deep at night, I had this thought. Maybe staying with the God of Order was this unbearable. Maybe we could live on just like this. Just like the past 3000 years. Was I giving up? Was my pride as a beast finally being eroded as well? I had been struggling, trying to keep my pride intact. Please don't, please don't treat me so well, the God of Order I had thought. You're supposed to be my enemy. You are my enemy. We're from opposing teams. I could not give up on my pride. That's the only thing I had. The only thing I had left. Uh, you're right. You can trust me. I said, smiling. I won't escape. But don't worry, I'm just bidding my time. When I recover, I will escape again. I put him again. There are they. If you don't want to smile, don't smile. The god of water heaved a sigh. The smile on the hand of my face froze. You look ugly. He then pushed the wheelchair out of the room. Stuck my fingers into my palms. Don't show anything, Lorelei. I chanted to myself. Finally, I cried. Ah, pardon me? How can you such such words to a lady? I can give you a mirror. Excuse me. When he had arrived at the beach. The cold of water carried me again and walked towards the shore. He then placed me into the sea. Without turning back, dive into the deep sea and swam away. The god of water was acting weird. He'd been taking me to different places on the continent. The time spent in my prison was suspiciously short. When we returned from one trip almost pretty soon, we would set out on another. 
this wasn't normal. The time he brought me out to meet Rachel could be explained because he was afraid I would run away. The next trip to the sea could also be explained because of that was his promise. But what about the others? For 3,000 years, we had never set foot out of the prison. Not once. Eh. I'm back somehow. <laughs> Let's backtrack for a second. For many thousand years, we'd never set for that at the prison. Not once. But why now? Because I had one feeling a tip to escape. Because they thought by bringing me out of the prison and letting me see in a world, I would no longer to accept another escape. Because he was bored. Nothing seemed to be the answer. Until the answer finally showed up in the form of the trashed prison. My room under the lake was being turned upside down. The culprit was very clearly trying to find something. The God of Order was hiding from someone. Or maybe the God of Order was hiding me. Or maybe the God of Order was hiding me from someone. That's what I thought when I saw my room in disarray, and a tiny note waiting for me. To the siren, we're going to collect your life at midnight of Miltus of winter solstice. We knew, and we know you have attempted an escape. You broke the pact. The consequence of breaking the pact is death. If the God of Order is not doing his job, he will be in his place. Stay in the prison or the rest of the beasts die in your place. The gods. Tomorrow would be winter solstice. They didn't really they really didn't leave me any time to escape. Do they think I care about the lives of the other beasts? I chuckled softly. Seems like the other gods are not satisfied with you, God of Order. Now's this time, it's not for me. I didn't spread any rumors. I muttered to myself silently. I destroyed the note before the God of Order saw it. I turned around and asked the God of Order, who was standing at the other side of the room with a smile. A thief sneaked into the place of God. Are you getting weaker? The God of Order took in this mess with lies between his brows, fingers tapping his by his thigh. He was furious. He snapped his fingers and everything returned to order. Just like that, all traces of the thieves seemed to be removed. It seems like you're getting weaker, I chuckled. You're really getting old. Lee, you said you wanted to see snow. Yes, suddenly. He wanted to hide me again, but this time I would not let him. Can I really look by as I pushed Cecil and my kind to death? Even if I could, what about his reputation? And time. I'm tired. I don't want to sit up today. I sat like a spoiled child as I always had. I want to play chess. I turned my back to him. If he saw my face now, he would probably say I looked ugly again. I'm going to beat you this time, I declared. And this would be our final match. Okay, so after all this time, she wants to play chess. Chapter 25, what's the author's start?
So offense not just shouts slower than I so what has happened? Let's find out. Okay. Let's redo it again. Let's redo. Let's try it again. <laughs> You won again. I said as the god of order to put the chess piece in front of me. Leaned my head on my hand as I observed the reflection of the full moon in the lake. Silver leaves were fluttering down around us. It's all very beautiful. In the commanded, we conducted the chess schemes under the trees. For 3,000 years, I had never sat below the silver lean trees. I had always stayed in my lake, silently observing my wood under the trees. But once, I went to try sitting in the same spot as the god of order, try looking at things from his spot. This is really the perfect spot for keeping guard on me, I juggled. The god of order tapped his fingers on the table in front of us, made lines between his brows. Lorelei, let's go and watch snow. He finally suggested gently. He must have realized by now that gods were closing in on us. Even though it's a nice spot, you must be bored. It's been 3,000 long years. I said with my usual smile on my face. Now you're released from this boring job. Congratulations. At that moment, a loud voice boomed. Neil, be Kneel down before the gods, the siren. You have broken the pact. We have come to collect your life. <laughs> Several gods were standing around us, blocking my view to the lake. They hadn't changed one bit, just like me, I guessed. The god of water stood in front of me, blocking me and protecting me from the others. The siren is my prisoner. It's none of your business. You have oversteeped your boundary, God of Thunder, the God of Order said coldly. She has broken the pact. She even used the dagger that shattered the God of Light, so she is a threat. She should be punished, boom, the God of Thunder. Kneel down, you lowly beast. His order carried some power. I was using all my might to resist this order. How can I lean without legs, you stupid god? I chewed sarcastically. After several of the tries, I finally succeeded to push the god of order aside. Even after 3,000 years, I have not learned any etiquette. As expected from a lonely beast. A lonely beast. Does not have the right to talk to us, said the goddess standing next to the god of thunder. We will announce our judgment on you now. I waved my head nonchalantly with a tiny smile on my face. You have overstepped your boundary, the god of order stated again. She attempted to escape. She even stabbed you with that dagger, and you didn't punish her. You're not. Doing your job, the god of order said scornfully. The pact was made when the other gods decided to give up on killing me. It was decided to find that if I attempted escape or any rebellious act, I would be killed immediately. I attempted dozens of escapes throughout the past 3,000 years, but the god of order never acted on the pact. That's why I nearly forgot about it. What did they care all of a sudden? She didn't escape. Uh, she didn't escape, the God of Order said coldly. No, she did. No, did she stab me with that dagger you all fear so much? We could feel that blasted dagger being used. Where's the dagger you said she had used? The God of Order asked. All the gods they sailed in, and the God of Thunder Lord. Here I've eaten it. 
evidence? Start of order, are you siding with that lowly beast? Did you develop feelings for that lowly beast? One goddess scoffed. I can't believe that's the god of order I know. If that's the case, the god of order is of the god of Flanta said. We have to reconsider if you're still suitable for a current post, god of order. Will the God of Order still be the God of Order if he's not following the rules he set out? One God stayed silent throughout all these, finally asked. As I have said, do you have any evidence? The God of Order repeats the same question calmly. Do we need any more evidence? Her soul is injured, tattered even. If she hasn't attempted an escape, why would the spell of the place on her set into motion? This siren is known for hypnotizing manipulating people. The god of order must be corrupted too. The god of thunder cried. He demanded the god of order be stripped. Okay, um, a lot of disconnects happened lately, but all of it's gonna be well in the V-Stream thing. But let's backtrack any more thing. Do we need any more evidence? Her soul is injured, tattered even. If she hasn't attempted an escape with the spell he placed on her set into motion. The siren is no hypnotizing and manipulating people. The cold of water must be corrupted too. The God of Thunder cried. We demanded the God of Order be stripped of his power. I can see it now. They did not need evidence. They just needed an excuse. They wanted to pull the God of Order down. How long had they had been setting them up? I have been anticipating. The God of Order said in his cold voice. What is to happen? You have more patience than I thought. I don't know what you're talking about. If you want my position, just take it. Leave the siren alone. Is she wanted her soul when she attempted to use more power than she is supposed to. Why did the God of Order cover for me? He had always been like this, never punishing me and now covering me now covering for me in front of his own kind. And you said she didn't attempt an escape. Everyone knows the siren takes pride. Let's backtrack a little bit there, so. Uh, let's backtrack a little bit there, so. And you said she didn't attempt an escape. Everyone knows the siren takes pride in her voice. She tried to use her remaining power to reverse the damage done to us. Everyone. The God of Order, the one who is supposed to keep us in order, has been corrupted by this siren. I demand we strip him of power. He should not be able to have power over us. That's right. They're, they're not listening. They just wanted an excuse. It's a witch hunt. Strip me of my title. I don't care. The siren did not break the pact. She should be left untouched. No. I would not let the God of Order be stripped of his title in shame. His reputation tainted. The God of Order should not be ruined in power struggles like this. He was the moon in the sky, gentle, holy, and untouchable. I will not allow for everyone to frame him. If I was removed from the picture, no one could target him anymore. I smiled bitterly. In the end, their plan was just hoping to kill two birds in one stone, killing me and pulling the God of Order down. That's all farce. It's just an act to prove that the God of Order is corrupted. I rolled my eyes. 
You don't need to do that. I smiled brightly. He can prove that he is still the same god of order. The gods and goddesses eyed me suspiciously. He just has to kill me. He smiled even brighter. Oh, really? Oh, it's a pretty devious one. I'm gonna have to take a look. I'm gonna have to act upon it, but... Fuck, oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let me preview chapter 26, I guess. Well, something just leave it here. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, I will chapter twenty six. Let's preview this one. Chapter 26 I'm I'm all ready to cry on this final episode on Wednesday on these streams. So thank you so much guys for having me here. I've been mean, those just me and my alternative here just as my just acted as my monitor. Because again, I have two person VTuber personas I need to deal with, maybe possibly even many more. But with all that said and done, I think it's time for me to go and prepare myself for the final three chapters on Wednesday for very first time and possibly the very last on V stream. So look forward to it. Uh, I'll bring in my ship here. So And uh, of course, if you wanted to... If you want to you have my ASMR channels, I will build on that after this final episode, which will be on Wednesday. But on Tuesday, I will play um, an ASMR read. Evertale. So they have a new event coming up here, and I probably have to um, be whether like G and the Ark. Maybe I can just practice on the fly here on Twitch. So if you want to see me do that, uh, I'll put post the schedule um, on Sunday. But I'm kind of taking a rest. So again, I'm kind of like crying right now. Seriously, seriously. I just did chapter twenty. I just read chapter twenty six in advance, and I can tell you all, I am. Um, Fuck, I'm about to fucking cry. So, <laughs> we'll reserve that for Wednesday, okay? Go check it out on VStream. Follow me on VStream. I'll see you guys there. But for now, this is the end of this episode here. Thank you so much. And we're going to be raiding Madame Isai. And uh, Kaito, thank you so much for, uh, for liking. I um, appreciate it. And hopefully you're sucked in by the voices that I tried to take a look at them. So anyway, um, sign V2.
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, little episode here. We're already three episodes to go. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the final episode on Wednesday. But for now, bye-bye.